so this is going to be my September favorites video and to be honest this might not be the best time to film for me because I've been awake for 24 hours straight and I'm incredibly tired um, but I need to stay awake because I need to um, be able to fall asleep early tonight so that I can go to school quite early tomorrow um, so I just figured that this would keep me awake for a few more minutes um, but if I look really really tired it's because I am my first favourite for the month of September has been my EOS lip balm, and I believe this is in Sweet Mint. Uh, and my friend Amber sent this to me, so thank you so much, Amber. Um, this is pretty much the best lip balm I've ever tried. Um, I apply this at night before I go to sleep, and I use this every night. And my lips have never felt so smooth uh, before, so uh, I'm just loving the way this works. The next product that I've been loving throughout the month of September is my Tiny Hands Solid Hand Cream by Lush. I mean, this was cute <laughs> a while back, but now that I've used it, it's just kind of sad looking. But it is a very, very good hand cream and I'm really liking it. And I mean, I like to change things up, so I like the fact that it's solid because I usually don't uh, use solid hand creams because uh, there aren't that many to choose from. Uh, that one is really good and it smells really florally. Um, so I can really recommend that one. If you're going to buy something from Lush, then definitely, you know, um, have a look at it and see what you think. If you've been watching my videos, you probably know that I haven't painted my nails for weeks. Well, obviously I have now, but I didn't for like uh, three weeks because I didn't have my Sesh V top coat. Uh, but now I finally have a new bottle, so I'm super excited about that. And I started painting my nails again, which I love to do. And I got a few new nail polishes. I got four by Maybelline New York. And this is by M&Y, which I believe is their like um, more budget friendly line that is sort of targeted towards... Uh, teenagers I believe um, and the colors I got are just called like they don't have names they just have numbers and the first one is the one I'm wearing right now and it's I mean it's one of those colors that you can't really describe it's um, sort of silvery goldy grayish green color <laughs> and it's called 445 um, it doesn't have a name as I said so that's what it looks like and I absolutely love this uh, I think it's perfect for fall. The next color is also perfect for fall. Um, it's called 545 and it's this grayish purpley color. And I mean, I love colors like this that are sort of in between two colors and you can't really decide if it's gray or purple. Um, so I have been wearing this a lot as well. Uh, so I'm loving these nail polishes by Maybelline. The next two things that I've been loving the last month are two things that I use together. Uh, the first one is my NYX HD Studio Foundation, and I have this in the lightest shade, which is called Nude. Uh, so it's this one. And if I apply this with my fingers, it doesn't give me good coverage at all. But if I apply it with my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki brush, well, Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki brush, then it gives me, I mean, pretty great coverage. Uh, this is dirty because I've used it like twice today. Um, but it is a brilliant brilliant brush. Now I finally gave in and ordered this brush from the Sigma website. So this is what's sent to me from the States and I absolutely absolutely love this brush. Uh, it's totally worth the hype so if you haven't got one already definitely get one because uh, it's the best foundation brush I've ever used. And when I use this brush to apply this foundation I get the perfect amount of coverage for when I have fairly good skin. Um, if I have bad skin, I would use my Revlon Color Stay, but my skin has been pretty good recently, so I have been loving that combination. Now, as you might know, I am getting more and more into lip products. Um, I haven't tried that many yet, but I'm getting into it. And the combination that I've been loving the last month, and the combination that I'm wearing today also, um, it's my NYX Round Lipstick in Darling. And... It just looks like this. It's a very, I mean, neutral shade that leans towards brown rather than pink. And over top of that lipstick, I've been wearing my NYX lip gloss in Whipped. Um, and I, I mean, I absolutely love this color. It's just a nude. And I think it looks great together with this lipstick. Okay, so I have two more favorites to show you. Uh, the first one is by Coastal Scents and this was actually the very first thing that I got from them and I mean I'm absolutely loving these four eyeshadows because it is uh, an eyeshadow palette that I you know created I chose the colors to put in it and 
I can't remember what these colors are called right now, but I'm going to put the um, names and numbers of them in the description bar below. I was actually very pleasantly surprised when I noticed that these four colors work so well together, because you know, when you buy things online, you can't really like tell if they're gonna work together in real life. Um, but I've been loving these four colors together, and it has become like my go-to fall look. Like I rarely use the same eyeshadows like two days in a row, but I have used this quite a few times during the last month, and I've been using this lightest color on the inner part of my lid, and this, this color on the outer part of my lid, this color in my crease, and this color under my eye. And I've just been loving that combination, so I'm very, very pleased with these shadows. And the very last favorite that I'm going to show you today is my LA Colors Baked Eyeshadow Quad. And I got this from cherryculture.com, and this is in the color Equinox. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that is how it's spelled. So as you can see, this quad has four very pretty neutral shadows. I've been wearing this lightest one on my lid, uh, one of the brown ones in my crease, and the black one I've used wet as an eyeliner, and you can see the dent I've created in it right there. So I've absolutely been loving this eyeshadow quad, and I mean, it cost me like two dollars, seriously, so it's definitely, definitely worth checking out if you haven't, you know, tried LA Colors already. I definitely think you should, because they are really great value for money. So those were all my September favorites and I really hope I made sense even though I haven't slept in 24 hours and I would love to know what your September favorites are so please leave them as a comment below or you know send me a video response because I would absolutely love to see your video response and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if you're new please subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!